Hello, and welcome to my 54th video, introducing my book, Debugging Shakespeare. In the last video, we looked at two of the Bard's likely aliases, William Hill, who has left us his commonplace book, now at Yale University, and Sir Roger Wilbraham of Dorfold Hall, Nantwich, both of whom appear to have the same handwriting and symbols. In this video, we're going to discover that his alias, Sir George Bruce, made a success from both black and white commodities. In earlier videos, we learned that Roger Wilbraham of Dorfold Hall and his family earned significant wealth from trading in the salt industry of Nantwich. And in one of his many aliases, Geoffrey Whitney, who lived in Brine Pit Lane, Cool Pilot, Nantwich, was a poet who wrote the emblem book, A Choice of Emblems. Visitors to Sir, Sir George Bruce's undersea coal tunnel at the Firth of Forth included King James I and the water poet and su suspected alias John Taylor, and even the playwright Ben Johnson. Not only that, but we find that his mansion house in Cull Ross was lavishly decorated with emblems designed by Geoffrey Whitney of Nantwich. The black coal was burnt to boil the seawater in salt pans in a similar fashion to how it was done in Nantwich with brine springs to extract the white salt. We find that Sir George Bruce's portrait was supposedly painted by someone called George James One, or Jameson, who allegedly studied with Anthony van Dyke under Peter Paul Rubens. Sir George's alleged son, also called George, supposedly married Mary, the daughter of John Preston, another suspected alias, whose other daughter, Isabel, was married to Richard Church, the builder of Church's mansion in Nantwich. It is claimed that John Rowe, the alleged Scottish historian, who died in 1646, and whose work is still in manuscript form, was helped by Sir George Bruce. His alleged father, also John Rowe, supposedly taught his precocious son himself. He claimed that he could read the Hebrew Bible at age seven unaided. In reality, I believe that both the John Rowe's were the same person and an alias of the Bard, and it is actually a fiction. Sir George Bruce supposedly had an older brother called Edward Bruce, first Lord of Kinloss, who was an ambassador and whose biography is equally riddled with more suspected aliases such as Sir Robert Cecil and George Talbot, the seventh Earl of Shrewsbury, the alleged son of George Talbot, the sixth Earl, who was married to Bess of Hardwick. What is particularly striking is the number of supposed deaths of what I consider aliases coinciding with the ultimate demise of Sir Ronald Crewe of Crewe Hall. Thank you for watching. There will be many more videos like this in the near future. The only way to get a full appreciation of who the Bard really was is to buy my book. It is available only on Shopify. Please scan the QR code shown with your mobile and you will have a direct link to Shopify. Thank you.